Hi there, I'm Andy, in case we haven't met before. Today I'm going to teach you how to do something very simple, but it's something that we get asked about a lot. It's how to add a mobile responsive notification bar to your WordPress website without any coding at all. Now these bars are great. You've probably seen them on sites. Um, they can be used for announcements, to promote specials. Uh, they can give you a really easy link that goes to some timely piece of information within your website. Lots and lots of uses. But the thing about these bars is they're for information that you don't necessarily want up there all the time. You want to be able to turn it on and off. You want to be able to easily change its content, that kind of thing. So to do this, we use a very small plugin called the Easy Notification Bar plugin. Now, it's known safe, very secure, uh, regularly updated by its developers, very highly rated, well-reviewed, all the things you want to keep in mind when you're choosing a plugin. So let's get started. All right, here we are in the back end of our WordPress website in the dashboard. First thing I'm going to do is go to plugins and add new plugin. Over here in my search bar, I'll type easy notification bar, click install now. You can see that it's installed, then click activate. Now you'll see that it is showing up in my list of plugins. From here, I click Settings, and this takes me to the customizer for my WordPress website. Now you can also access this from the top administrative bar when you're logged in. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a sec, but for the sake of our first time setup, this is where we will be. You'll see a bunch of options here. This first one is enable notification bar. This is the box that you'll tick to turn the notification bar on and off. Can be closed. You can tick this box to give your users the ability to click an arrow and collapse the notification bar if they don't want to see it all the time. The enable sticky option, if you check this, then that just means that the notification bar will stick to the top of the screen when your user scrolls. And display on front page only is just what it says. If you only want it to show up on your home page, you would tick this box. Otherwise, it'll show up throughout your site. So this first box here, this is where you're going to enter your message. So let's put something like, we would love to make your web world better. This can be an announcement about a school closing. It could be an announcement of a sale. Any message that you want up in your notification bar, you would put it in this box. Okay, so here is where you can customize the notification bar to match your website. I'm going to make mine purple and I'm going to give it white text. Scroll down a bit and you can change the alignment of your text, left, center, or right. I'm going to keep mine center aligned. Displace button here or bouton, there's a little typo. This option just changes the alignment of the text and the buttons a little bit. Apply system font family. You're probably going to want to leave this checked. This is the option that basically tells it to use the same fonts as you're using on the rest of your website. These next options are further customizations, vertical padding and horizontal padding. This just lets you add a little space around your text. Font size, if it's too big or too small, you can adjust the font size here. Button text, if you want a button, you're going to want to fill this in. So let's just put contact us, and then you're going to enter the URL that the button should link to. See, I've done this before, it's already in there. Your next two options, you don't really need to worry about. This just affects how the link is read by search engines. If it's a third-party link or an external website, you're probably going to want to tick this to open it in a new tab. Button placement, left of the text, right of the text, below the text, you can change those here. I'm going to keep mine to right. Button background, you can change this as well. I'm going to make my button have a white background with purple text. You can change your font weight. You can change your border radius. That's the roundness of your button. 
And then button padding, again, that's just a way to give some space around your button text. Let's say enable notification bar, just so we can see what it would look like. And there we go. This is just a preview of how it'll look on your site. It's not live at this point until you press publish. So if you wanna save it for later, just untick enable notification bar. So I'd mentioned that you could also get to that customizer from the front end without having to go to your plugin settings. This is what I meant. When you're logged in, you'll see this black administrative bar across the top. If you just click customize, that takes you to your customization panel and you'll see an option here now for easy notification bar. And it's as easy as that. So if you are ready to enhance your website with a professional looking notification bar, just head on over to the WordPress plugin directory and grab the easy notification bar plugin. It's a great way to keep your visitors informed and engaged without any hassle at all. I hope you have enjoyed this super fast WordPress tip. As always, please like, subscribe, engage, watch our other videos. Mostly we just love teaching you about WordPress. And if there's any way we can help you at all, get in touch. Thanks so much. See you next time.